Hello and welcome to our fourth Tech Tuesday tutorial. Today we're going into a wonderful app called Awesome Drive. And Awesome Drive is an extension for Chrome that lets you open up Office files within Google Drive and automatically uh, upload any changes back into Drive. You don't have to download and manage all the files yourself. It just kind of does it all for you. So it lets you keep on using Office while still getting all the benefits of Drive. Okay, so where do we get this? The easiest way is to go to the Chrome Web Store, and you can access that with the apps icon if you have your bookmarks on, or if you don't have your bookmarks on, just open up a new tab and the bookmarks bar will display for temporarily. Then click on apps and go to the Web Store. You could also just Google it, um, the Chrome Web Store, or go to chrome.google.com slash web store. When you get here, you just search for Awesome Drive. And it's the second hit there. It's by a company called AO Docs. So go ahead and hit add to Chrome. First time you ask, it's going to ask you if it's, is this okay, you say yes, add the extension. It's going to ask for permissions to be able to manage and access all your drive files, which is necessary for it to run. You'll then have an icon up there in the top right that shows up whenever you're able to use it. So if we head on back to Google Drive, we will have to refresh, and then it should start working in just a small moment there. It'll walk you through the basics, but you can cancel that for now. And now, whenever I hover over any Office file inside my Google Drive, I'll see little icons over there uh, for those appropriate programs. So let's open up a PowerPoint from Google Drive. I hit on, I click on the P and it starts loading it. The first time it does this, it's going to say, do you want to open this? Are you sure? You say, yep, that's exactly what I asked for. Thank you. Okay, so then once PowerPoint is loaded, you may have to click on the edit icon. Um, or the edit button if it's not yours, but then just go on and make some changes, right? Okay, so I've made some changes and I want to save this. So I'll go up here and hit save and it starts uploading this to the server and that's it. I just hit the icon. I can now close out of PowerPoint and then refresh the Google Drive page and go back into that PowerPoint in Google Drive. And you can see that my changes here have been saved. That's it. Thank you.